The first thing we want to notice in uh, constructing our list of checkboxes here is uh, that I've chosen to put that in a KPI of its own outside of our first KPI and so the action that will uh, happen when we check and uncheck these uh, checkboxes will actually be a KPI list in which we'll specify to update this KPI from here and uh, that lets us uh, leave these uh, um, controls alone while this one uh, repopulates. So as we go back over to the builder, the first thing that uh, we want to do is add in a sibling KPI to our chart KPI. Uh, and for the sake of time in this tutorial, I created that new KPI ahead of time. Uh, it's a fairly simple KPI and we'll go over um, the pieces of it. Uh, so I will reference an existing KPI and this KPI be probably easier to see it over in this view Um, I've added to it um, a blank toolbar which then uh, because it has no options does not display a toolbar on this KPI which uh, for us is uh, desirable and then we just have a, a simple layout which provides us a table and then we've got a piece of server script and um, check boxes in contrast to data funnels cannot be um, loaded from a data funnel um, but we can um, use our data funnel to create our check boxes which is what we want to do remember as we talked about in the beginning um, we want this data to be dynamic so we want the data to come from our, our data funnel uh, rather than be static and so because we can't load checkboxes dynamically from a data funnel uh, directly we're going to do that with this piece of server script and so taking a look at this um, we use server script to go out and get our data funnel called country labels and when once we have that data funnel we can simply iterate through it and take for each row the contents of our first cell which is the name of the country and then we're going to write to our content a cell and a checkbox with the name of the checkbox being the country that we got from the data funnel its label. We're going to have it uh, be uh, pre-selected and then we specify an action on uh, our checkbox of an update KPI list which is going to update the orders KPI. So that's what our server script will look like. Again, we get the data funnel, we iterate through each of the rows of the data funnel, pulling out the name of the country from each row, and then creating a data box, a, a checkbox um, using that country name as its uh, as its label, and adding a um, an action to it, an update KPI list, specifying the uh, ID, the KPI ID that we want to update, which is our chart KPI. We can see that really quickly um, by taking a look at that KPI. And there we've specified 
um, that KPI ID, which will give it the um, uh, the point at which it needs to, uh, it'll allow it to find that KPI in order to update it. The other thing we probably need to go back at and look at it are the data funnels that will drive this, uh, those check boxes. Here is our country labels data funnel that we saw referenced in the server script. And we have, um, again, uh, pulled that with a, um, a data funnel that goes back to our base data funnel of orders and then gets just the country row and then we're sorting it by country and then we collapse it matching on that um, column so that we we'd get um, uh, just the unique uh, country names. So that data funnel then will be what we pull from in our server script to get the names of the countries. And notice it's, it's a single column and probably another thing to to note in our server script as we'll jump back to there real quickly is that um, data funnels are are one base so we begin with um, row one and um, and column one rather than being zero based they are one based so now we can see that that piece of server script has created a checkbox for each one of the countries in our data funnel and so now when we take a look at our um, preview and I need to uh, preview the entire uh, dashboard and we execute the action uh, by selecting some of these. If we take a look at our um, console over here to, to look what variables we're now getting, we're seeing that we're getting for each one of those checkboxes its current state, whether it is on or off and that's going to be what we're going to use um, again in our uh, to modify our SQL query with to filter out those state or those countries that we're not interested in so again we get their current state we get their label for each one of the countries that are in our checkbox list